In this video, we will show you how to use the PsycInfo database to find scholarly information. To access PsycInfo, visit the University Library website and navigate to the databases page. The example topic we will be looking at is the use of cognitive behavioural therapy for veterans with either clinical depression or generalised anxiety disorder. The first thing we need to do is to break down our topic into key concepts. Our key concepts are cognitive behavioural therapy, veterans, clinical depression and generalised anxiety disorder. How we search PsycInfo is very different to how we search with Google or library search. When you are searching with Google, Google is trying to find any article or website that contains the words you have searched for. PsycInfo uses subject headings instead. This means that items in PsycInfo are mapped to subjects. Subject headings within PsycInfo are consistent and therefore mean even if we search the acronym CBT, it will be mapped to cognitive behaviour therapy. This means that all articles that are about cognitive behavioural therapy will be collected together, including articles which use the acronym CBT, papers that use the British spelling of behaviour, or if a new term is used instead of cognitive behavioural therapy. Subject headings are useful as we don't need to type a long list of alternative spellings or acronyms to find all items on the same topic. When choosing your subject headings, you will be able to view a thesaurus which contains similar terms. If you click on the subject heading, you will see there is the broader term treatment, and you can also see the narrower terms which are subsets of CBT. Finally, there are related terms, which you can check to see if there are any other terms you could use. When selecting subject headings, we are able to select more than one, but we need to make sure they are about the same concept. We will add terms for the other concepts later on. PsycInfo automatically selects the auto explode button, unlike other databases such as Medline. This means that all narrower terms will be included in the search, such as acceptance and commitment therapy. When searching PsycInfo, you are able to search with keywords. However, use with caution as a word may appear if it is used in passing or in a different context. It is best to use subject headings as it will create a more targeted search. Once we have searched CBT, we can see our search results here. Search results are ordered by date, so the most recent articles will be shown at the top. This number will be different each week as more items are added to the database. We can now move on to our next concept, veterans, and we can see this term is mapped to the subject heading, military veterans. A useful feature to use when selecting your subject heading is the scope button. The scope button will provide more information about the subject heading. It will include a scope note, which will define the subject heading and a date of entry. By using the scope button, we can check that military veterans is being used the way that we want to use it. To narrow down our search results, we are looking for veterans with clinical depression or generalised anxiety disorder. We can start with searching for depression and here is an example of why breaking down your question is important. We can see there are subject headings for depression emotion, but by using the scope button, we can see that this subject heading is defined as mild depression, which is not considered clinical depression. For clinical depression, use major depression. As we are looking to search for clinical depression, we need to use the subject heading major depression. We will now follow the same process to search for generalized anxiety disorder. We now have a set of search results for CBT, another for military veterans, one set for major depression, and a set of results for generalized anxiety disorder. As our question is asking us about military veterans with either clinical depression or generalized anxiety disorder, we are now going to combine our set of results for major depression and generalized anxiety disorder using the OR function. We now have search results for CBT, for military veterans, and one set for either major depression or generalized anxiety disorder. To combine all three search results, we are going to use the AND function. We now have search results, which will include articles, which will have been tagged with cognitive behavior therapy, 
military veterans, and either major depression or generalized anxiety disorder. By looking at the number of articles within your search results, you can see if you need to go back and refine your search terms. Another way to reduce the number of results is to add limits to your search. Limits are just like filters. You can select limits such as to only show items from peer-reviewed journals or items which are only in English. You can also use additional limits such as age groups, gender, methodologies and quantitative or qualitative research.